Today, we are going to challenge each other with some British idioms. Today's lesson is going to be a very difficult lesson for us because mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we have some different British idioms that we are going to ask each other and, and see if we can figure out what they mean. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to do bad. Yeah, me too. <laughs> We're going to try to do our best to yeah. guess them. All right. So do you want to ask me one of yours first? Yes. It's a kerfuffle. A kerfuffle? Uh, I would say that's isn't that kind of like a, a commotion or like kind of a, a fight or a dispute about something that the a kerfuffle. I thought you said you're gonna be good at it. You're gonna be bad at this. I've I think I've I've heard of kerfuffle. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like it I'm is. British. It's a really good word though, kerfuffle. Huh. I really a like kerfuffle. it. Mm -hmm. What does it say? It says a skirmish or fight caused by differing views. Okay. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> All right, your first one is maybe you'll get it if you work through it. All mouth and no trousers. If is you're it, saying somebody's, you know, oh, you know, he's all mouth and no trousers. Is this similar to like if somebody's like bark is louder than their bite? Something like that? Mm, kind of. Like, yeah. So does it mean similar. somebody's like just like all talk, but. Like, they're not really... <laughs> yeah, no, that's exactly what it, it says. All talk, no action. Are you all mouth, no trousers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think many <laughs> times. Like, I'll say things, but... Okay, I like this one. Um, knees up. Knees up. Can you give me a sentence? This party is knees up. <laughs> <laughs> Something knees up? Is it, it's really cool, it's great, it's happening, it's knees up. Yeah, kind this of. This lesson is knees up. Yeah, I hope we're using that the right way. It just is says it? adjective for liveliness. Like dancing, like your knees are up when you're dancing. I guess that Maybe. makes sense, yeah. Okay, your next one, blinding. Like if something's very bright or something? You, <laughs> what's a sentence? Okay, um, the prime minister gave a blinding inauguration speech. So it could, it could either be very good or very bad, I feel. I mean, or you could say like, um, I'm trying to think of something more recent. The royal wedding was blinding. Yeah, it's not making it easier. Well, I'm guessing it means like maybe, amazing maybe or I'm something. Using it wrong. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. Excellence. Oh. It says an adjective for excellence. Interactive English is a blinding <laughs> channel. We're, we're very modest today. <laughs> oh. We're so blinding. We're so blinding. We're so freaking blinding. Ah, this one I really like. I gotta say, I think British idioms are better than American idioms. <laughs> the, the ones we've done thus far, yes. Yes. Uh, okay, so this one it is to know your onions or to know one's onions. To know your onions? I just say, is it like to know your stuff, to be informed and you're aware of what's going on? Like, hey, you know, this guy doesn't know his onions. Yep. Really? That's, that's exactly what it All is. All right. That was pretty easy based on the context. But how much better is to know your onions than to know your <laughs> yeah, stuff? That is much better. It's yeah. so much better. Okay. The next one. I think you'll get the next one because this is this is a little bit of review mm. for you. All right, and oh, it gosh. is chuffed. <laughs> I chuffed. remember this one because we did one with this one with Ali. Yeah, but do I remember <laughs> we, the meaning? Is the question. We did another idiom challenge with Ali from Papa Teach Me a long time ago. We'll we'll link it. He's, I think the idiom he gave bits. chuffed to bits. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it means like um, like uh, excited or happy or delighted. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank God. I was yeah. like, is my memory that bad? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. To be very pleased about something. Okay. The sentence was, I just saw this, it's like, Reginald was chuffed about the football match. And I just thought like... Very British example. Reginald was, yeah, such a, it seems like such a stereotypical British Reginald. name. Reginald was chuffed. This one I think you should know, because I've heard it around. At least I know it. Okay. But I still really like it. I might surprise you and... Be very wrong. Let's hope so, because it's funnier that way. It's <laughs> miffed. Miffed? Miffed. If you're miffed, you're a little upset, pissed <laughs> off about something, you know, you're, you're miffed. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry I'm laughing. I'm laughing because, <laughs> because the example is 
he got all miffed about the football match. Sure, people in the UK get miffed. Reginald, uh, stop match. getting miffed. About I imagine the people match. were very miffed at the last World Cup. They were not chuffed. Reg, at all. Reginald were not was chuffed. miffed. Reginald, especially, super miffed. Okay, we need to stop with this name. Okay. This. How can you wait, see? It's so small. Yeah. Well, I don't want you to see because you're well, you're I trying can't. to cheat here. I am I'm trying to cheat. Means. Okay. Mm. Corker. What? Corker. Like like <laughs> does he have something to do with, like put a put a cork in it or something? No. Oh. A corker. Corker. I this I don't think you'll get it. Do would you like a sentence? Yeah. You're probably still not gonna get it, but it's a good <laughs> sentence. What is it? Great this... job, Jim. You're a real corker. Maybe we'll get it. Like a good person or a, a good sport or something? Good Yeah, I mean kind of, it's good lad. Uh, this says unless unless this source is wrong. Someone or something uh, that is outstanding. A standout. Ah. Yeah. That Reginald, he's a real corker. <laughs> There's like a Reginald watching this right now. Like, I'm sorry, you guys. We're not picking sorry, on you. We no. I actually do like the name. It's really. I am somebody who should not be making fun of anybody's name. I mean, to be fair, <laughs> me neither, yeah. because nobody's heard of my name. So we're with you, Reginald. We understand. We know. <laughs> <laughs> Names are hard. Numpty. A, a numpty? Yes. It's an adjective. Okay. I think. Well, let me take a guess and then you give me a sense. It's a numpty. It'd say somebody who's lazy, kind of like a bum, a sloth. They're not working hard. They're a numpty. Uh, you are... Stupid numpties. You are kind of wrong, but also <laughs> kind of... I mean, you write on the connotation of the word. Why <laughs> wouldn't it? Okay. All right. It's not a good word. Not a numpty. It's, it's an adjective. So. Oh, or somebody's a numpty? Okay, well, no. so can you give me a not sentence? Somebody's a numpty. Somebody's... He, you, somebody's numpty. What's is struggling numpty. with the concept of adjectives today? Numpty. Uh, you and your numpty friends should apologize. <laughs> you and your That's stupid... Good... <laughs> you and your stupid friends should apologize? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Some... <laughs> I'm going to bring some of these idioms back to America. Mm -hmm. Start saying, hey, numpty. What are you doing, numpty friend? <laughs> that numpty shirt. <laughs> this is, this is another. This is a good one. I I like this one too. British idioms are much better. They're much better. Doofer. A doofer. A doofer. So like a doofus. D o o f e r. Doofer. Like a doofus. No. Can you? Uh, I'll give you a say. It's just say like you know what what is that doofer? What? That made it harder. What is that doofer? Is it a thing? A doofer is a thing? Kind of, but there's a little more to it. What do you call that doofer over there? Thing? <laughs> well, it could be a thing. Thingy? It says it's an unnamed object. So oh, if so you like don't a thing. Yeah, a thing. Like if you don't know the name of something, like, oh, what's what's that doofer? Thingamajig. Whatchamacallit? Mm. I think a lot of people in the US would say a thingamajig or a thingy. Whatchamacallit? I think of the the candy bar. How's it go? What you call it? What is it? <laughs> That's I... the song that was like the old commercial. You don't know your onions, apparently. Apparently, about what you call it. Okay. You, I think you know this one. Odds and sods. No, I'm like, odds and sods. Can I? Can I have a sentence? Mm-hmm. Okay, you lot got first picks and left with nothing but odds and sods. Uh, that you like odds and sods, like empty-handed. I got all a bunch of a bunch of rubbish. See, that's why I think this particular sentence wasn't the best. Do you want to give me another sentence? Um, like uh, at the at the flea market, you 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 could find a bunch of doofers? odds and sods. <laughs> Is it a doofer? In it's vain. an unnamed thing. It's just a bunch of uh, like a bunch of knickknacks. Yeah, miscellaneous things. Okay. But what I didn't want it to think, it's like, it's not something that's not valuable. It's just like, yeah, miscellaneous things. Okay. Another good one, I thought, um, an earwig. What? An earwig. Earwig? Yeah, an e earwig. An earwig? I, I think it's a verb. To earwig? Earwig. earwig. I, if, do you want a sentence? Yes. I think you'll, pro you might be able to get it based on the context. Um... Don't earwig on my personal phone calls. Oh, is don't it like earwig? to eavesdrop? Yeah, it says to <laughs> eavesdrop. I don't know if it's like a, 
like like kind of like wiggling your ear like kind of like an ear wig uh, or something instead of like a probably. a wig that you'd put on your head that's that's how i imagined <laughs> that's it that's what like i first little, thought of when i heard it a wig and for your it, ear okay the next one for me is spawny spawny somebody who thin and lanky and gangly like they're spawny uh, no spawny i don't know Can you give me a sentence that was a spawny outcome for you. Okay, a positive, great, unexpected. That's a good That's connotation. A, that was a, it's the right connotation. You know, that was a spawny outcome. That was surprising. Getting closer. Should I keep guessing? I don't know. Lucky. So, it means lucky. Ah, okay. Maybe you'll get this one. Mm. Uh, well, I don't want to give you a hint. Eating irons. What? Do you want me to give you a hint before uh, I give you yeah. the sentence? Eating irons. It's basically exactly what it sounds like. No, it can't be. Mm -hmm. Eating iron? Eating irons. I don't know, eating spinach? <laughs> eating spinach, <laughs> irons. Spinach like, iron. no. <laughs> Somebody would ask or something like, don't we have any clean eating irons? Oh, uh -huh. is it like utensils? <laughs> uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, cutlery, eating utensils. I wonder how common this eating one is. Eating irons. I just assume somebody's eating iron, so that's why I was like, what? <laughs> like, is it a vitamin deficiency thing? Okay, the next one is steaming. Steaming? If you're ste steaming. Steaming. Mm -hmm. If you're steaming, then you're really mad, you're angry, you're upset. Uh, no, but that's a good guess. Okay, uh, can you a sentence? A steaming drunk Reginald hobbled out of the pub. Is that really the sentence? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Reginald is everywhere. Um, in that case, it'd be like an adverb of degree, like a very, very, uh, very drunk Reginald. I think you were right. Even in the beginning, now I see the second part of the definition. So it says the state of extreme drunkenness or extreme anger. So maybe you were right in the beginning. But steaming, I think it does add excessiveness to whatever it is that okay you're doing this one i think you will get some of you may even know about it um the fuzz but i have no idea really yeah well how would uh, i know the fuzz because there was a a movie called hot fuzz oh i haven't seen it don't let the fuzz catch you if there's any problem call the fuzz the police yeah Oh, <laughs> you never heard that? I think that's been used. I, I've heard that quite I mean, a bit in like movies it. and shows. Like people thought of the fuzz, the cops. Now I'll know. Mm -hmm. Now you know your onions. Mm -hmm. Wag, wag off. Okay, I'm going to say to wag off is to like, I'm just going to go out there and say, talk back to somebody to, to talk a lot. No. Talk trash. No. <laughs> Maybe disconnected, but to it means something off. else. Wag off, like get out of here, go away. No, I'll give you an example. I had nothing to do but wag off at work. Um, just do nothing of importance. I don't know. You're bored. You wag off. You screw around. You don't do much. Kind of. Wag off. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> to waste time. What are you doing? It kind of means to waste to waste time. To to waste time? Okay, mm -hmm. I kind of got that. To waste time? Mm-hmm. Wag off? Mm-hmm. Georgie, you wagging off? Oh, always. She always <laughs> you just always. wag off all day. The next one, honk. It's a verb, honk. It's not a car. Oh, I was like, that's easy. That's a real <laughs> word. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea. What? What? I mean, can you like give me some kind <laughs> I can of hint? Or... I can give you an example sentence. This is good. Reginald. R Reginald coughed so hard he honked all over the pub. Ew! Is it meant to throw up? Uh huh. Ew. To vomit. Ew! 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 ew. I'm gonna check where we got these because we got these <laughs> off of like a site just to challenge each other. Wait, sorry. The cat honked. <laughs> she drooled. Ah. I wonder if, uh, yeah, I wonder if the person who kind of wrote that, like, blog post if their name is with Reginald. all of these, it was Reginald. Uh, you should know this one, I believe, because I've heard it before, but this one goes, warts and all. Just you're not feeling good about your appearance, like, warts and all, or, like, just... You don't know this? I've heard it in the U.S. too, I thought. I never heard warts and all? Mm-hmm. Sentence? All right. I'll keep the cat, warts and all. Uh, like you'll keep you'll for something for better or for worse. Like you'll keep it with all the defects and 
-hmm. problems that something might have, mm -hmm. warts and all. Mm -hmm. I've never heard warts and really? all. Really? No. I think you'll get it. I think people have said it in the US before. Um, an idiot box. <laughs> or the idiot box. I, I don't think I've heard it, but it's good. It sounds good. Mm. Most homes have an idiot box. Oh, like a panic room? No. What? <laughs> Why would that be an idiot box? Well, you're acting like I'm supposed to know. Is that, am I the <laughs> idiot right. box? No. I, don't know. I think I'll spend the night in front of the idiot box. Oh, a TV. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. It's the idiot box. So if you learn some new idioms just like we did, we want you to do two things. Please hit that like button down below. Also write to us in the comments and tell us which one was your favorite or if you know of some other British idioms, we'd love to hear them. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, we think they're just better than, they, they're, <laughs> than the American they're idioms. They're way funnier. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.